Alright guys, we're back. I'm your boy DeAnthony, I'm my boy Adon, and I'm my boy Christopher the Conch here. And we are Break Room Blitz, baby. Break Room! So, we just came back from seeing Assassin's Creed. What did you guys think about this? I liked it. For as much as flawed as this movie was, it was ultimately pretty good. Uh, it was a really good um, uh, video game uh, translation into a movie for me, for what I thought it was. What do you think? Um, honestly, the, the c a cinematic transition from the game to a movie, I, I enjoyed it. I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, there was a lot of fun characteristics. They definitely carry catered to the, um, the roots of what Assassin's Creed is. But uh, I also enjoyed the story. There are some pieces missing, obviously, um, but some of it you have to put together during the duration of the movie. But I, I enjoyed the movie. All right, so are you? Um, would you say that it kind of made you feel like you want to play, or you know oh, what? Yeah. The, 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 it's funny. The the biggest thing that I, I I'm torn with is when I think about Assassin's Creed, I, and this is the first movie I think about the first video game, and I was not a big fan of how repetitive that game was. It, I had to stop doing all these side missions just to finally finish the story. But I liked the story, and I, I liked what they did about this movie, and just. I like the movie more than I did like the game, ultimately. Wow. Yeah. I honestly feel like the, ga the, the the movie was essentially just one mission. Like, in the game, you get repetitive mission after mission after mission. And this, they elongated one singular mission. Um, but they broke it up enough to really kind of throw us around to really get a variety of what the Assassin's Creed universe is about. Right. So I enjoyed yeah. that. Yeah, I'm asking because I didn't play the game at all. I think I played, like, one part of the beginning when he gets up off the table and he couldn't run, so I was done with that. So I don't have any real experience or any contrast. I was just asking. Me personally, I didn't like the movie, guys. Uh, it was just kind of mediocre. Um, I just wasn't interested. It wasn't a bad movie. I just wasn't interested, maybe. There was nothing interesting that was going on for me. I don't know. It, was, it had a lot of potential, but I just didn't think that the movie was well done. For me. So, being that, you know, it's a historical kind of thing, uh, did you guys like how he was going back? Did it seem authentic to you when he was going back in the yeah, I mean, time or not? Really, favorite part is, like, you know, when they're actually in the past, you know, and they're, they, they go take you to this Spanish Inquisition time period, and, you know, everyone's actually speaking Spanish, you know? Yeah. And in the game, that's all translated because of the via of the technology of this animus that they put him in. But, I mean... I appreciated that. It was a lot more authentic. And, you know, I, Michael Fassbender did a better job speaking Spanish than he probably did speaking, you know, English with different accents. That kind of threw me off. Everyone's, everyone's accents kind of really threw me off in the movie. But um, as far as when they were in the past, I could have done with most of the movie being in the past rather than, you know, half and half in the future or whatnot. I think I agree with you on that one. Uh, I, I think I agree with you a lot on that. I would have rather us just stayed in that realm mm -hmm. and then maybe kind of popped out towards the end. Right. But I think the back and forth maybe killed it for me. And, and when I think about a movie that did a lot of back and forth, I think about uh, kind of Avatar because he kind of does that. You know, he goes into the machine and then he becomes the alien and then he pops out every now and then. But when he's as an alien, I appreciate all those visuals and what he does as that in that world. So if they were to keep it more in the ancient world as his ancestor, I would have liked it a lot more, I think. I think they could have played with it. I think where they probably went wrong with that is actually the way they developed the animus in this movie. So it was really similar to, um, in the game actually, it was really similar to what Avatar was. You sit down in a bed and he basically, it projects in front of him and he's not maneuvering like that. I did like the new take on it because he actually... It's almost like not only did he retain the mind, but he had to retain the muscle memory of his ancestor. Mm -hmm. So that was actually something really cool they brought to the game plan. But I think that detoured from going in the past more and giving you more of what you wanted to see. So I, I think I, I can agree with you guys on that. Yeah. All right. So let's just kind of uh, take a quick little recap of who's in it, just in case you guys are interested. Uh, we got Michael Fassbender. Mm -hmm. Cool. Marion Cotillard. Jeremy Irons. And Ariane Labad. So if you guys are interested in this movie, these are some characters or some actors that are in here. Um, so if you if you if any of these are your favorites, I would say go see it. So, but back to, what do, what do you guys think about the fighting? Was the fighting you know, when you legit talk about, for you guys? Yeah, actually, I, I, I like the choreography. I really liked it. And um, the actress, uh, Ariane Labad, uh, I don't really know how to say her name right. But, you know, I thought she was really cool, but she was really downplayed as a character. I, and that's why yeah. I wish if they were to spend more time within that ancient world or, you know, that past, 
uh, we would have got more out of that because th- to me there was like some kind of a love interest there, but they didn't really do anything with it, you know. Um, yeah. I would have uh, liked them to really explain that love interest a lot because they they had a lot of passion. Yeah. So I would have liked to have, maybe they had maybe had to send him back to where they were building a relationship a little bit, right? Mm-hmm. And so they can so he can understand like how connected they are, and we can understand why they're so connected. Um, but I feel like what they gave was kind of lackluster on that part. But the fight scenes for me were he was he was kind of slow, mm-hmm. but they they made up for it with the um, dramatizing like the actual hit. So they were like ha yeah yeah ha ha <laughs> finisher. But it was like super slow ha ha. Right. <laughs> so I feel like you're doing a like cutter right now. <laughs> yeah. So I get why they were doing that because they. I mean, they're not martial artists, right? So they yes. kind of had to. But I liked all the jumping around, all the um, parkour. Yeah, yeah, parkour. <laughs> that was, so that was, was kind of cool. I, I like the parkour. I, I like uh, the camera angles that they chose for that choreography because there was a point where you know he was like kind of behind, like first person behind a bow and arrow, and he does like a ricochet shot. But yeah, that was, was kind of awesome. fun for that me. That was good. I did like that. I, I liked how they actually brought in the different weapons because usually when you associate Assassin's Creed, you only associate the hand blade. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, the fact that they did the bow, they did the axe, they did the, the freaking star knife. That, that was really cool. Like, I really enjoyed that. Yeah. yeah I thought it was the, the, when they're being chased and running away was the best part of the whole movie, I oh, would say. It, it got me, you know, like, I, I really enjoyed it, too, because I saw the whole scenery, you know? Yeah. Like, it was really nice the way they went about that whole scene. Like, like going to you, people's homes, you see everything. Yeah. jumping into different, like, facilities, and not just, right. like, on the street. Yeah. They're all over the place, so I really like that. I did appreciate that. Yeah. That's actually one thing that I kind of looked into a little bit. Uh, Justin Mur- Muriel, the director, he actually did a film called Macbeth, and um, he, mm-hmm. he did, and he actually has his fast benders in there, and so mm-hmm. is Marion, and uh, the style is actually similar, and I think that's probably why they chose him for this movie because the style was just so rigid, and uh, just like. Visually, it was awesome, and it's right. just, uh, you know, it's, uh, you get to expand on that more in this movie, and I, it was really good. So, did yeah. you get your hero to villain complex? You know, the hero to villain complex. I started thinking about that after we left the movie. I'm like, who is really the, the villain? You know, we got Rickon, um, who's like, uh, he's one of the uh, Templar elders. We got his daughter Maria, and then we have all these other elders, and then we've got um, what's that? Like that one character, Javier Gutierrez, plays um, uh, Thomas D. Was it? Torque Mata, he's the the Pope, uh, you know, at that time, mm-hmm. um, and then you had also you had um, the uh, Jeremy Irons, uh, he, he does Rickon, and then you have Ojeda, who's played played by Havoc uh, Kucherin, Kucherian, and so you have all these different kind of villains, but nothing to really give me a, a straight line to who's really battling these guys. I guess Rickon's the most. Overall, no. <laughs> I'm looking for a hero villain complex, and yeah, yeah. there's too much in there. I mean, you know, the, they, they give us like a couple of different villains and, and transformation of villains that, yeah. that a lot of movies end up doing. Uh, but ultimately, like, it, it's kind of like a, it's not the greatest of villains. You know, his intentions were bad as far as Rickon and uh, Jeremy Irons' character, that is. You know, he's the one that I can see that, you know, uh, more as a villain because they kept he kept wanting to put him in the animus to get more and exactly. really push him. Yeah. Uh, and um, his uh, daughter in the movie, she uh, she was like, no, he needs to rest. He needs to eat. You know, he needs. Not only that, but she we can't she push him to claim everything for his own. And, and right. That's just the thing too. And then Maria, uh, she you know, she she's more of a scientist in this, so it's like it's really hard because I don't even know even towards the end whether that she was a villain or not a villain anymore because just of how she approached things. So I'm really curious. Yeah, that's, that's my issue with the movie is it's a lot of things that are open. I don't want to say open ended, yeah, but they're just not they don't hit the mark. I feel like so right. we don't know if she's a bad guy or a good guy or what her thoughts are now. Or, yeah. Um, and then like I felt like this movie was more like. Wherever your moral compass lies is who you're going to pick who is the bad guy here. Sure. Um, it wasn't just like a definitive bad guy. It was like, well, wherever you are in your life, you can pick a bad guy. You know, because yeah. ultimately, I mean, they they start off as, um, what well, they picking like criminals. And then they seem like they're trying to do something good out of this bad scenario with the criminals right and then all of a sudden they flip and then the other criminals don't like him and it's just like 
I don't know what's happening here. I don't know. It just seemed like I didn't like the pacing of it. I didn't like the storytelling. Right. Um, so I, I don't know. It was just kind of lackluster to me. So I didn't really like it. Uh, you know, and I'm much. I'm there with you too because the the point of you know them putting them in this facility, they explain to them, you know, you're not a prisoner, but they kind of are. They're meant there because they're Definitely. using them, you know. Can't leave. And, and they, you know, interact with each other like prisoners. Like, here's an apple. Give me that apple. I'm gonna eat it. You know. Uh, yeah, thing. yeah, they, yeah. Um, so That's a good point. Mm-hmm. I mean, th- there there are you know things that are not really well uh, developed as like a story and it's kind of like right there in the big chunk of the middle of that movie where you know he's brought into this you know futuristic facility you know and they don't explain anything except other than you know he's hungry all the time (laughs) that was kind of funny yeah Um, there are some 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 funny moments um so i mean are you guys would you say you would recommend it you know what I, I would uh, I would recommend it. I think um, you know as far as when it comes to video game movies, we know how much of a fail they've been in the past. You know, and me being my '90s kid and me, you know, I always look to Mortal Kombat as the video game staple. You, you know, like of Street a movie. Fighter? Oh come on now! Yeah, <laughs> I didn't even mention that. John Claude. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, video game movies. This to me is the best. I know we seen Warcraft and we had that, but um, you know, visually, that's an awesome movie. This one to me, I got some kind of uh, authenticity as far as when they were in that old school realm of things. But I appreciated this movie. This is going to take that top one, but that's not saying much. All right. yeah, no, I would definitely recommend it. Um, there's a couple of con- the things to kind of counteract. One of the things that I did is to, I, to, to kind of give me my leeway between who is the villain and who wasn't the villain is the Assassin's Creed. Their creed is to, to um, work, in the ni- work in the dark to live in the light. Um, and essentially challenge those who are actually creating darkness, who are trying to control. And so they kind of give up. I want to say I don't want to say they give up their light, but I'm thinking the mentality of as I play the games, they give up their lives to live in this creed to battle the darkness, so light can then be, be projected. They protect the ancient artifacts that actually give people the possibility to defy uh, free will, and to take someone's free will away. To me, doesn't go along with what my moral really. So your moral compass is spot on because I mean you kind of have to discern what you're what, what where you're gonna align yourself and um, as far as it goes in relation to the game I actually this was a really decent rendition the loopholes I can see where you guys are losing it at but at the same time this is probably one of the better better uh, video game transition movies that I've seen and um, I, I like it a lot I, I will definitely recommend it I would probably I, I don't know if I'll watch it in the theaters directly right now if some, one of my friends is like I haven't seen it yet I'll probably be like let's go I'll go watch it with you <laughs> was it better than Warcraft no. I liked it better than Warcraft so you're gonna see you would see it again would you see it again in theaters uh, yeah on DVD pro- pro- probably not full price but I would probably see it in theaters cause yeah I mean if I got you know invited or whatever yeah. right, I'm definitely not seeing it again not gonna see it again what? on any level <laughs> um <laughs> It it just not worth my time, and we're watching so many movies that I don't have time to watch. And you guys recommend movies all the time, yeah, for me to watch, and I just like I just can't watch it again. Yeah, you can put this on the back um, burner if anything. <laughs> uh, it's it's in the trash. But um, <laughs> Warcraft, I would say, is my favorite game movie adaption. Yeah, um, I like I said, I've never watched. I've never played Assassin's Creed and never played Warcraft. Mm-hmm. So, but as far as a movie, what they gave me, I like that one a lot better. Um, but I just, I don't know. I'm just not, I'm not going to watch it again. So, all right guys. So let us know. Do you think that this is the best adaptation of a video game to movie? Um, because there's a lot out there. We got Street Fighter. Mortal Kombat. We got Mortal Kombat. <laughs> we don't go back that Mortal, far. Mortal, Mortal Warcraft. Warcraft. Mario Bros. Let yeah. us know. What do you guys think? Cluck, cluck, cluck. <laughs> Man, can't can't miss that one. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, let us know what you guys think. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, and definitely comment for sure. We want to know what you guys have to say. And we're out, guys. I'm DeAnthony. Adan. Touch. And we are Break Room Blitz, baby. Peace. Peace.